Welcome to the Chairquisition, where normally we worship chairs, but this week we're worshiping a tentacle. Chairquisition is where we take a game, we tell you if it launches, how the performance is, how the graphics are, and how it controls, and I just apparently entered puberty. So, um, <laughs> we, after, after we go through all that technical mumbo jumbo, we will give you a score from one to four chairs based on how we felt about the game. Uh, this week we're taking a look at Godly Court by TR8 Taurus Studios, developed on Unity. You could pick it up for about eight to nine bucks of your particular local currency and what is it as an intergalactic as an intern in an intergalactic corporation managing the universe use your tentacle to perform unusual office tasks and try not to destroy all life on the planets you look after every day brings completely new challenges expect everything chainsaw robots bug infestations space trips and more uh the dev sent us some keys for this over curator connect a while ago i think while the game was still in early access mm -hmm. Um, so now we're finally taking a look at it. Thanks a lot, TR8 Taurus Studios. But to get into the nitty gritty on Ubuntu, how'd it work, Ben? Over here on the 1804 LTS Ryzen 1700 980 powered UHD displayed by luck. And I do mean luck, ladies and gentlemen. And it launches somewhere between my UHD monitor and my 1080p monitor. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can cheese my way into the resolution options and kind of get it in full screen where I can play it. From there, uh, yeah, and get everything set and sit down and play a game until I launch it again because it remembers fuck all options. Nope, not having that. So prepare that every single time you launch. Uh, performance at 1080p, 60. Uh, no issues there, 30, 40, no issues there. I mean, look at it. It's a basic, basic game. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Um... It looks as good as any VR fuck around game, if there ever was one. However, um, it kind of looks like rubbish by default when it initially launches, because it's like 640 by 480, no AA, or anything like that, which would be a problem if you didn't have to reset those resolutions and the AA settings and the full screen settings after cheesing the res all that every single damn time you launch the game. Controls, I mean, come on, you're a tentacle. That kind of controls like a cocaine-infused penis, but still a tentacle nonetheless. But I got to fault it on the graphics having to change that every time you need to save that, and on the launching for having to cheese my way into the menu of a game that is launched in the middle of two monitors. Cheer, baby. Yeah, I mean, it kind of it kind of just spawns its window wherever the hell it feels like it, regardless of how you set it up. It, it even straight up ignores the Unity Prefs file, which is super annoying. I tested this on uh, the laptop running the uh, R7-2700U uh, with its uh, corresponding Vega 11 GPU, as well as the uh, i7-6700K uh, with the GTX 1080 Ti, both running Fedora 28 and 29. Um, and... Yeah, it doesn't really seem to save your game progress either, which is also very annoying because you have to go through all the fucking challenges again. And I just, I just couldn't. Uh, Performance-wise, it's V stuck at either thirty or sixty frames a second, your choice. And even on the uh, Ryzen APU, it maintains sixty and doesn't run like complete and utter shit. Uh, Graphics-wise, it does look like complete and utter shit. But <laughs> again, this is. What 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 do you expect? This is like some sort of low effort type stuff. That I mean, it's it's there to be like, aha, you're a tentacle doing tentacle stuff. That that's kind of the point of the game. And control wise, yeah, you thought Surgeon Simulator was bad. Clearly, you've never been touched by his noodly appendage. But it does work. You can move your tentacle in and out, and it, it's supposed to control like shit. That's kind of part of the game, so I can't really fault it for it. I'll give it three chairs for the for the workiness. What about you, Pedro? Yeah, it uh, it launches in the middle of my three screens in a UHD sized window every goddamn time. Uh, it doesn't remember any settings, uh, though. I will give it that uh, on the Ryzen five sixteen hundred and GTX ten eighty, it uh, holds sixty at UHD, which is more than a uh, Surgeon Simulator could do at ten eighty p. So that's a bonus. Uh, the graphics, yeah, they work. It may not remember any settings, but the graphics work. So uh, the controls, both WASD and the arrow keys were properly bound to uh, spin the little planet thingy around that you have on your desk. So I can't really fault it for that. So as far as I'm concerned, it gets three chairs. <laughs> All right. Well, there there you go. It, it has technical issues and it's broken on all operating systems, but you can still mm -hmm. play the game. But did you have fun playing it then? Do you ever think to yourself, what if Octodad was handy capable? Well, 
Godly Corp is going to answer that question, like it or not. At its core, you know, this is your classic fuck around physics simulator. The spin, question mark? Well, you're an intern in a corporation. It's your job to complete random tasks assigned to you by a developer who really, really, really like GLaDOS. Yeah, you kind of get that vibe with your instructions. It's hella rough around the edges, but it's not bad if you like, you know, Sturgeon Simulator and the like. You can see some ideas and mechanics that definitely have promise, but they need to be fleshed out. Not a bit more, a lot more. But you know what? None of this matters, because if you have more than one monitor in 2019, who doesn't, this critter gets refunded shortly after you launch it, followed by the realization that not even the press file can unfuck this nonsense. Test yo shite, developers. Fail one chair. Yeah. I, 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 I always wondered what happens if you gave Octogad a gun... <laughs> and the 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 sort of answers the question. I mean, yeah, it's it's a like Ben said, it's a fuck around simulator. There's no real point. There's no real effort or nuanced game design here. It's more Remember like the um, Little Inferno. Yeah, yes. see, Little Inferno had an actual gameplay component to no, it, it because didn't. like you after, shit after, after a while you have to plan it ahead. Yeah. Um, I, I got I actually got pretty far in Little Inferno. I ended up playing that for a while. How could like, you not? I know you just burn shit. Um, um, but but anyways, yeah. Um, there, there's there's no real like desire here for like good high quality gameplay. It's just like, oh look, it's a tentacle. It's supposed to be shitty. Ha 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 ha. And you know, there there therein lies the rub. I don't care, and the game doesn't really give me any incentive to care, especially when I can't like put the game down and come back later without starting from scratch. This, this is actually the, the level where I gave up just cause like I had a hard time wrapping around the, all the various things and pumping it. I'm just like, I've, 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 I've lost my ability to care about this game. I got a good laugh, like in the previous level when the robots show up, you're like, Oh no, robot invaders. Here's a gun. Defend, defend your post. Um, but that was after the bit that, I was telling you about, <laughs> yeah, e exactly. And I'm, I'm sure there's like some more jokes like that later on in the game, but I just don't have the patience or the ability to give a shit in order to, you know, pull this off. It's, it, it's just a lot of non-consequential dicking around and I like my dicking around to have some level of consequence. I'll give it one share. Yeah, it's Surgeon Simulator, but the play field changes every time. The fuckery also goes up a notch every damn time. Uh, the level after this one that you're looking at right now, uh, there's like no gravity. Uh, and you have to build one of the teeny tiny planets instead of already having one on your desk. Uh, and at the same time, you have to shoot uh, asteroids that are coming down to the planet that you just took off from. And there's no gravity, so all of the parts and everything that's on your desk is flying all over the screen. And yeah, it, basically at one point I had everything right up against the camera and I couldn't see anything. So I basically had to use my tentacle as a windscreen wiper. At that point, I could actually see the game again. But all this to say that it's not a terrible game. It's not the kind of game I would play by myself, but it would certainly be fun to load uh, this particular um, game when, say, you have people over and you just let them have ads. Like, okay, try to figure this one out. If, you know, it worked properly, because by the time you launch it, yeah, it's bad. I'll give it two chairs based solely on the fact that, yes, it does work, and it could be fun if you can, you know, hide it away from people as it's launching and then just move it to the right place on the screen. It's like, yeah, there you go. But, yeah, it needs some work. Yeah, it, it, it's great pl practice if you're worried that you're ever going to end up in, like, a Harlan Ellison novel, but beyond that... um not 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 very good then you got you have any final thoughts basically here's the thing if this was still in early access i would still give it shit you got a you got a fun concept here you got you know the whole cthulhu mythos and just you got some good ideas but you got a game that doesn't save progress doesn't launch correctly and doesn't remember any setting so that's that's too fucked to be charging money pro tip